Chinmay Chakraborty at Cora asked, Is it possible to convert an Android phone into a book? Well, yes, we can, Mr. Chakraborty. Friends, welcome to another episode of Reflex Reviews on learning how to convert any mobile phone into a notebook. Kindly note, please switch to full screen mode for best viewing experience. We need to check a few things before we start. Number one, a fully charged mobile phone, which we already have. Second, a Google Docs app. And third, a earphone, which has a microphone and that came along with your mobile phone. So let's begin. Step one, installing the app. Well, Google Docs is available on Google Play Store for Android devices and at App Store for Apple phones. For today's demonstration, I will be going with an Android device. And for Apple users, apart from installing the app, using of a Google Doc stays the same. Well, now in my phone, I go to menu and click onto the Play Store. Inside Play Store, I'll search for Google Docs. I'm inside this installation page, tap on install, and it might take a little while to get installed. And the installation is complete. Now, don't open the app directly from this open button which pops up after installation. Minimize it, restart the app from the home page again. So I go back, tap, 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 tap at the bottom screen. I'll open the minimized apps, close it from here. And next, I go back to my menu again, find Google Docs. Oh, it's here. And then open it. Once opened, it will auto sync with your Gmail ID in the phone and the document saved usually is stored in a Google Drive. We will create a new document by pressing add symbol at a red circle. Once tapped, it will give two options. Choose a template or a new document. I will go with the second option, a new document. Once it's open, the basic message keyboard pops up in which I can just type like a basic text message. But our motive is not this. We are using our voice as an input and let Google Docs do the writing for us. To do that, at the top of the keyboard corner, you can see a microphone symbol. Click on it and it will activate a voice input. Now speak directly to your phone. Hi, how are you? This is a document test for Google Docs. Oh, it shows stocks instead of docs and it seems the pronunciation is bad. Let me do it again for Google Doc document. Okay. Now we will test with the microphones. Hello, this is an audio test. I went wrong again. Hello, this is an audio document test for Google. Well, I did recognize perfectly. The question now is how do I save and export this file? For that, I'll quickly enter the word and tap on three dots option at the left top corner of the screen, which will open a drop down. And if I scroll down, I'll find share and export. Click on it. It will slide into another drop down and you can see save as option in it. If I click it, it will pop up another window which has all of the output formats. Now see, you can choose which formats are suitable for you as an output. I will go with Word doc and it saved. Let me go back. Oh, it's asking create dot doc file often. This is to set the format as default. And I would say maybe later. So friends, you have seen how easy was it to convert any mobile phone into a notebook, a voice recognized notebook. Before I leave you to try and play around with this app, here are a few important points you need to keep in mind. When you have pressed a microphone button to activate a voice input, right to it you can see a gear symbol. Tapping to which will open a voice input settings. Here are a few tweaks we need to know to make most use of it. First is the language. If I click on it, it will show all the available languages on this device. So you can change it accordingly. Next, if I come back, you can see offline speech recognition. That means even if I don't have an internet, it will recognize and convert my vocals into text very easily. So I'll click on it. I'll download the package. If I go in, there are more packages available. So you can select accordingly which package do you require. And it's a very important update. Well, we are at the end of this video and I request you please do subscribe to my channel here so I can bring more creative contents to you and also follow me at Twitter Rancora.
We'll be back next week with a new trick. Till then, take care. See ya.